So I'm back today to show a nice demonstration on eclipses. Light bulb represents the sun, the earth on a tripod. You'll see the nice shadow that's produced. And I'm gonna use the moon is going to be a little styrofoam ball on a stick. And again, you can see how nice the shadows are gonna be created here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this first phase. The first phase of our cycle of phases will be our new moon. And the new moon, when it gets in between the Earth and the Sun, that's going to be the beginning of our cycle of phases. It's also going to give you an opportunity for a solar eclipse, an eclipse of the Sun. So you have a really nice shadow cast on the Earth. Let me show you from the moon perspective how the moon can completely block out the Sun. And that shadow is going to be cast right on the Earth. Solar eclipse has to happen during the daytime because it's the only time the sun's gonna be out. Well, now what's gonna happen is that the moon is gonna go through half a cycle of phases. It's gonna go into the full moon phase. And now what's gonna happen is it's gonna pass into the Earth's shadow. So look how it goes into the Earth's shadow here. Look up on the board. The Earth's shadow is significantly larger than the moon. Very easy to identify. So that full moon goes into the Earth's shadow. Let me give you a perspective from behind. So again, that full moon is going to go into the Earth's shadow. Look how easy it is for the Earth to block out the light bulb and block out the sun. Okay. Let me give you a little side perspective here. Sun's coming in from the left. This is the new moon phase. The new moon phase is going to block out the sun during the daytime. It's gonna produce a solar eclipse. Two weeks later, the full moon phase is going to go into the Earth's shadow and produce a lunar eclipse. Now these do not happen every single month because sometimes the moon is inclined in relation to the Earth. Sometimes the moon is declined in relation to the Earth. So a lot of times these shadows are missed. The moon's orbit has an incline or decline in relation to the Earth, and a lot of times the shadows are missed. That's why eclipses do not always happen twice a month. That's why they tend to be a little bit more scattered throughout the year or throughout the decades, because the moon sometimes is missing the Earth's shadow and sometimes the Earth is missing the moon shadow, depending on its position. They have to be lined up just right in order for them to exist, okay? Hopefully this is something that you can use in class, and thanks for watching.